What's going on everybody? Welcome to part three of stock price acquisition. Uh, where we left off, we pulled the open high low close of one day data from uh, Yahoo Finance. Uh, we pulled it for Apple and this is the data file that we uh, we got here. It's about, what is it, looks like 249 lines of price information. And um, just as a quick aside, uh, if you wanted higher granularity, like later on we'll be getting into that. Um, but if you want, you know, you could edit this and say like 10 days, right? And so for example, uh, let me just clear this file and we'll exit it. So now what it's going to do is give us 10 day data, which will be five minute open high low close instead of a day. So we could run that and we just ran it. And uh, here is our file. And if we edit it, you know, that works as well. So that same kind of functionality that we've written will work for um, you know any kind of granularity of data um, but as you'll notice again this is printing out Unix time not a date stamp so we will have to take care of that eventually but we'll get there so now what we want to do is let's say you know that's cool but like I was saying before um, I'm gonna delete this file you should probably delete yours as well um, what I was saying before was you know if all you wanted was one stock of data then you could just visit that page manually by hand, copy and paste, and you're set. But what if, you know, what if you want more stocks, right? That's where programming shines is when you want to do, like, bulk activity. So let's say stock to pull, even though this is a singular stock to pull, just, just out of my own, uh, we're going to change it to stocks because I'm a little, a little compulsive here. So anyway, uh, so we'll change that. Now, let's say we want to add a few. Like, let's say we want Apple. We also want Google. We want Microsoft. We want Chipotle. We want Amazon, eBay, and uh, I'm trying to think of who else. Who else I really like? Um, I like Tesla. Everybody likes Tesla, so the Tesla. Um, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stocks now that we're going to pull. And uh, just because that's only seven, I'm going to put a one second timer on there just to save you guys some time watching my video. As you can see, we've got no files yet, but what we're going to do here is um, add them. So the only thing that we're going to do once we have uh, added those stocks to this list, what we want to do is come down here and now we're going to make a for loop. And actually, um, we are going to change this parameter. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that whenever I changed it. But anyway. Now what we want to do is basically for every stock in this list, we want to run it through this function. So that's what a for loop is for. So for each stock in stocks to pull, we want to do, oh shoot, I'm going to tab this over, pull data, and then what we want to pull is for each stock, right? It's a temporary variable it's going to assign to each one of these. Um, we want to perform this. So, now let's save that. We'll move this over a little bit so you guys can see it in motion. We'll hit run module, and we should start seeing it. Apple, Google's done, Microsoft's done. Here we go, here we go. CMG, Amazon, eBay. I think we still have like one more to go or something. I don't know. Yeah, Tesla. So here we have all of this data for uh, one year open, high, low, close of all these companies. So here's Tesla. And uh, so as you can see, Tesla started at uh, 28 bucks. As we go through, holy moly, now Tesla is 161. I mean, my goodness, year to date, ooh, somebody made a lot of money. Anyway, continuing right along. Um, okay, so that's how you would do a bulk amount of stocks um, if you wanted to. Now, obviously, it's going to get pretty messy pretty quick uh, with these notepad files. And so maybe what I'll show you guys um, is how we could do a database using SQLite 3 if you want to do like a large bulk of stocks. But I think for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to continue going through it like this. And then maybe towards the end, I'll show you guys how to use a database because there's a lot, a lot of things that go into using a database. 
And uh, so it just adds one more layer of complexity that um, I'd rather not add just yet to people who are kind of new to this stuff. So um, that's how you do multiple stocks. What we're going to be doing in the next video is getting that higher granularity of data. And then I'm going to show you guys how we can build a, a, a script that will, first of all, it'll pull that higher granularity of data, but it's also going to continue pulling it continuously. So it'll run in a loop. That way you're just constantly pulling it because if you'll notice in the uh, API here, if we, let me bring this down a little bit, if we do say um, 10 days again, so 10D, let me pull it over. So, you know, just add 10D and you hit enter. As you can see, this data only goes back um, so far. Now, I guess you can't, you don't, probably don't know. Well, it goes back 10 days, right? <laughs> wow, that was uh, crazy. Anyway, um, but say we do like 22 days or something like this. Let's see if that gives us anything interesting. Yeah, see, like 10 days will only go back. I'm not even sure it goes back 10 days. I think it's actually five days or something. Anyway, so if you come into this, like you say you want to, you know, pull months of five-minute open, high, low, close data, you can't do that unless you do it over a longer period of time. But what if like a few days go by and you forget to do it or something, then you're going to have a gap in your data. So what I'm going to show you guys is how to pull this kind of data and kind of make a loop out of the program and you'll just continuously run that program and it will continuously pull the data and then obviously you can pull it as frequently as you want since it's five minute open high low close data you can in theory pull it like every five minutes pull that data but it's going to be really inefficient when it comes time for like the weekend and you're like every five minutes you're visiting the web page so you know maybe not do that but um, anyways uh, that's what we're going to get into in the next video so, uh, as always, thanks for watching, thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.